Peace and love, it's Maya, and this is Power Soul Flow. In today's class, we are going to work on the hips, strengthening the hips, and working on the mobility, right? So strength and flexibility. Let's get into it. Start at the top of your mat. Feet nice and rooted. Bring the hands to heart center. Take three grounding breaths. Root into your heels. Inhale, out the mouth, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, good, bend your knees, sweep the arms down and up, inhale. On your exhale, fold it down the center into forward fold. Take your inhale to lift up halfway. And on your exhale, fold it down, bring the hands to the mat. Step one foot back, then the other for plank pose. If you need this to be a little more accessible, drop the knees for half plank. Your choice. Take one full inhale in whatever posture you're choosing. On your exhale, let's bring the knees down, the chest and the chin. Inhale for the cobra pose. On your exhale, shift the hips, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Two full cleansing breaths in through the nose, out of the mouth. <sighs> Inhale through the nose and release whatever is not serving right now. <sighs> Good. Look between the hands, bend those knees, step or walk. Feet to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Inhale to lift up halfway. On your exhale, fold it down. Ah. <sighs> Stretch the arms out wide, draw them all the way up, inhale. On your exhale, float it right back down, forward fold, ah. Inhale to lift up, halfway. And exhale, fold. Stepping back, opposite foot, then the other, plank pose. Plank or half plank, inhale. On your exhale, knees, chest, and chin come down for eight limbs touching. Inhale, lift up, cobra pose. Exhale, downward dog. Two full breaths in through the nose, out of the mouth. Look between the hands, bend the knees, step, walk, or float. Halfway lift. Fold it down. <sighs> Reverse the swan, arms out wide, bring it all the way up overhead. And exhale, bring it right back down. <sighs> Picking up the pace a little, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands. Step or hop back, plank pose. Inhale. Exhale, let's drop knees, chest, and chin for eight limbs touching or chaturanga. Like a push-up. Pressing it up, cobra pose. On your exhale, downward dog. Two. Clearing breaths. <sighs> Good. Look between the hands. Bend those knees. Step, walk, or float. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Draw those arms all the way up, hands meet, and draw the hands down to the heart. Good, three full breaths.
breaths here just to recenter. Notice the temperature of your body and notice any sensations that are going on. Now that we've warmed up just a bit, let's get a little deeper into our postures. On your inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold it down. Ah. Halfway lift, inhale. On your exhale, fold. Ah. Hands on the mat, step back with just the left foot. Drop the knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, reach those arms up for low lunge. Exhale, sink the hips forward and down. Inhale, stretch it up. On your exhale, bring the hands back down. Tuck the left toes, lift the knee. Keep the ball of the left foot on the mat. Engage the core, nice straight spine. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, hold. The right knee is directly over the ankle. The ball of the left foot is really high onto the mat. As an option, you can dial this left foot down if it's a little more comfortable for you. But I want you to at least make the effort for a high lunge. Two different poses. If you dial the left foot down, it's more of a warrior one pose. But if the hips can be forward and the ball of the foot is on the mat, hold it here. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down. Ah. Now, sweep that right leg back and in the air as much as you can. Try not to take a glance. Show them some love. <laughs> and then bend the knee. Open that hip towards the right. Now start to make some small circles like you have a pencil on your kneecap and you're drawing circles on a wall and then make those circles bigger and then go in the opposite direction start off little get bigger good then look between the hands Bring that right foot between the hands. Left foot meets. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, melt it down. Ah. Reach the arms all the way up. On your exhale, fold it right back down. Ah. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Now let's step back with the right foot. Drop the toes, drop the knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, bring those arms up. On your exhale, sink into your lunge. One more inhale, reaching up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, plant the hands. Tuck the right toes, lift the knee. Get rooted into your feet. On your inhale, bring those arms up. High lunge. Inhale. Exhale, root. One more. Inhale. Make sure the hips are forward. Breathe down that right hip. Exhale. Bring the hands back down. Root into the right foot. Sweep the left leg back and in the air. Three-legged dog. Bend the knee, scorpion the leg. Turn the hips out towards your left. Now make those little circles with the knee. Lubricating our hips. Make those circles bigger. As fast or slow as you'd like. Move with your breath. Let's go the opposite direction. Start off little. Make them bigger. Pick something to look at to help with your balance. I find that that is easiest. Then look between the hands. Send that left foot between the hands. 
Right foot meets. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Arms reach out and up. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Just breathe. Three cleansing breaths. Good. Root into the feet. Take an inhale. Arms reach up. Exhale. Bring it all the way down. Forward fold. Take your hips about hips distance. Your feet about hips distance. Toes out, heels in. And sink into a squat. Now you can rock a little from side to side. Kind of warming up in those ankles. See if the feet will allow you to be flat. And if not, completely okay, stay on your tippy toes. You can choose to have the hands on the mat. You can choose to have the hands at heart center. Whatever is accessible for you today, be there and totally aware. If the hands are together, make an effort to bring the triceps to the inside of the thighs and press the triceps into the inner thighs, lifting the chest, opening up. Now, stretch the arms out in front of you, flip the palms up. On your inhale, we're coming up very slowly. So come up for one, two, three, four. Straighten the legs, point the toes forward, reach the arms up. Baby back bend at the top, hips forward, heart lifted. Ah. Straighten the spine, send those toes out, slowly lower back down for five, dump the booty, four, three, two, one. Good. Flip palms up. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Toes forward, five. Baby back bend, ah, and straighten the spine, toes out, lower down, dump it for five, four, three, two, one, palms up, inhale for one, two, three, four, toes forward, five, ah. Two more, toes out, lower down, five, four, three, two, one, lift up for one, two, three, toes forward, four, five, ah. Last one coming down and five, four, three, two, one. Ah, good. Hands on the mat. Rock to straighten the legs. Heel toe the feet together. And forward fold. So we're going to stretch just. The back of the legs, more so in the hamstrings. When we find issues in our hips, the hips can go in all directions. So we really want to stretch all parts of our thighs. So grab your fingers at your low back, interlace them. Start with the knees bent, belly on the thighs. Take an inhale. On your exhale, straighten the legs. Try to keep the belly connected to the thighs. So keep the knees bent as much as you need to. Now send that fist packet over your head towards the ground. If you're like me and your arms are double jointed, try to keep the elbows bent some. And keep bringing the chin towards the knees. Breathe down the back of the legs. 
We're going to double dose here, so we're up in the shoulders to breathe through any discomfort. Couple more breaths. Good, slowly release the hands back to the low back, lower the arms down, hands come to the mat, we're going to step left foot back and walk it over into a wide legged forward fold. So the toes are forward, they're about parallel with the front and back of the mat, and then I want you to start to walk the hands over into a side squat, over onto the right. And then lift the left toes. Try not to lock the left knee as you do this. And then walk it on over to the opposite side. If you're hearing any snap, crack, or popples, that's cool. Just go back and forth from one side to the other. You can choose to have a little challenge here. Get more into the strengthening part by keeping the hands at heart center. And going from one side to the other. Activate the core. Going from right to left. Moving with your breath. As fast or as slow as you'd like. Alright. We're going to end over, over onto our left. And then we're going to rock to come into low lunge. So left foot is framed by the hands. Untuck the right toes. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, root the hips forward, anchor them. Inhale, stretch arms up. Exhale, plant the hands. Tuck the back toes, straighten the leg. Right knee is off the mat. Inhale, arms reach up, high lunge. Exhale, sink into it. One more inhale, reach. Exhale, plant the hands. Now, with the left foot planted, I want you to drag the right foot just a smidge and then lift it. Standing splits. Now, you can straighten that leg up in the air as much as you like. The left knee can be bent. Make an effort to straighten it. Find where your limit is. You can pop onto your fingertips. And then keep stretching the heel towards the ceiling on the right leg. Bring the nose towards the knee. This is our peak pose. Hold it. And then bend both knees. Right foot comes down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Ah. Bring the arms up. Reverse the swan. Exhale, hands at heart center. You're at the back of your mat. Three full breaths. Let's do our second side. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold it down. <sighs> Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. <sighs> now let's step back with the right foot. Walk it over for a wide-legged forward fold. This time we're coming into horse pose or goddess pose. Bring the heels in, toes out, root into the feet. Slowly bring the hands to the thighs. And then sink and to bring those knees at a 90 degree angle or as deep as you can. You can use the hands or the arms to get as deep as you'd like. And then find a straight spine and bring the elbows at 90 degrees. Hold it here, inhale. Exhale, surrender, get a little deeper. Send the knees in opposite directions. Inhale. 
exhale a little deeper. Stay with me. Inhale. Exhale. Ah, good. Bring the hands back down. Straighten the legs, toes forward. Inhale. On your exhale, draw the top of the head towards the mat. Now you can keep the hands on the mat. Or you can reach the hands for the ankles. You might heel toe the feet out some to get a little deeper. Again here, stretching the backs of the legs. Draw the top of the head towards the mat. If you begin to draw any dizziness while you are inverted, just come out of the posture. Come back to a neutral spine, neutral head. If you're okay with being inverted, get as deep as you can. Totally okay to go beyond my cues for any headstands or any other poses that you'd like to get into. We'll spend about three to five more breaths here. Mm. And when you're ready, hands are directly under the shoulders. I'm going to walk the hands back to frame that right foot. Drop the left knee, low lunge. Untuck left toes, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, sink the hips forward and down. Ah. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, frame the foot with the hands. Tuck the left toes, lift the knee, high lunge. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, root into it. One more. Inhale, reach arms. Exhale, bring the hands down, preparing for our standing splits. So the hands frame the foot. You can also use your fingertips or a block. Make the pose accessible. When you're ready, come onto the ball of the foot, slowly drag it and then lift it. Lift it a little or lift it a lot. Take your time to find your maximum. Feel the muscles activated. Try not to have the hips out. For now, we're going to stay with the hips squared off with the mat. The left hip is dialed down. Completely okay for that right knee to be bent. It makes it more accessible. A couple more breaths. And when you're ready, bend both knees. Left foot comes onto the ground. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold it down. Ah. Reverse the swan. Arm comes out and up. Inhale. Exhale, hands at the center of your heart. Just breathe. Three full breaths. Moving into our standing series. The feet are nice and rooted. Feel all four points of the feet. The pinky toe mounds, the big toe mounds, and the two points into the heels. Root into your feet. Press the thumbs against your chest. Nice straight spine. Shoulders relax away from the ears. The core is engaged. Feel the muscles harden. We have what's called bandhas in yoga, and these are locks. So the muscle that's right between the genitals and the rectum, squeeze it up and in. That's our mula bandha. And once you've activated that, now let's find our uriyana bandha. And that is at the core center. So drawing that navel into the spine, holding its center. We're just going to activate those two for now. Thumbs against the chest. Transfer the weight over into your left foot, pop the right knee, draw the knee into the chest. Reach the hands around the shin, pick something to look at that's not moving, 
and then gently draw the knee really closely into the chest. Maybe you roll out the left, right ankle in both directions. Good. Now hold it here. This might be exactly where you need to be today if you'd like to get a little deeper. Hook your peace fingers at your right big toe. Left hand comes to the left hip. This might be where you are today. If you'd like to take it a little deeper, you're going to kick the foot forward. Kick, 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 kick. Hold it. Hold it here. Option to sweep that leg out. And hold it. Another option to bring the right arm out in the opposite direction. Hold it. And let's draw it back in and down. Shake it out. We have a second side. Hands at heart center, root into the feet. Nice and rooted, pull the core in, find the vanna, so squeeze area, slightly engage in the glutes, pull the core in, thumbs at the chest, feel all point to the feet, transfer the weight into the right foot, pop the left knee, slowly draw the knee into the chest. Take your time, if you fall out of a posture, it's all good, get right back into it, hands come to the shin, Draw the knee into the chest. Yes. So strengthening and stretching at the same time. Stretch it up. Hold it. You got it. Option to bring right hand to the hip. Left peace fingers to the left big toe. And when you're ready, kick the foot out in front of you. Hold it. Stay right here or option to swing it open. Yes, nice straight spine. You can send that opposite arm out to help calibrate. Hold it. And when you're ready, draw it in and down. Shake it out. And one last pose. Hands at heart center. Feet rooted. Deep inhale through the nose. Let it go all the way down to the toes. Transfer the weight over into your left foot. Pop the right knee. Preparing for tree pose. So you have options here too. Bring the right heel to your ankle. Think about your two hip bones moving in opposite directions. So as if that Michael Jackson, uh, uh, like send the hips forward. Hands at heart center. This is one variation for tree pose. Hold it right here, get rooted into the toes. Digging your toes like the roots of a tree into the mat and into the earth. Option to slide that foot up to the shin for a little challenge. And if this is easy, slide it up above the knee. Not on the knee, above or below the knee. We don't want to cut off anything in the knee. No energy centers getting cut off there. So find where you want your foot to be balanced. If you'd like to take this a little deeper, you can hook the foot to the inside of the crease on the opposite hip. Wherever you'd like to be, find it, hold it, and then hands come to the heart center. Nice straight spine. Feel that Michael Jackson. Uh. Now stretch those arms out wide, grow your branches, fingers wide, and inhale, stretch it up, lift it. On your exhale, slowly guide it back down, nice and easy, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Let's switch sides. Root it into your feet, transfer the weight over into your right foot, pop the left knee, Send the knee out, find your foot placement, wherever you are today. Try to match one side to the other, but know that there might be a difference, and that's okay. Slide it up when you're ready, if you are. Use your hands. Now bring your hands to heart center. 
and then stretch those arms out. Shaking's good, we're building muscle memory. And reach the fingers, take an inhale. On your exhale, slowly draw it down and shake it out on the opposite side. Shake it out, shake it out. Great job. Let's bring it down onto the mat. Come to the top. Take an inhale, reach the arms out and up. And stretch the front body by adding a really nice back bend. And exhale, fold it all the way down. Ah. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Bring the hands to the mat. Pop onto the tippy toes. Drop the bum. Plop down onto your mat. And slowly bring it all the way down. Once you're down, just relax all your muscles. And I invite you to come into a climbed butterfly. Last one for the hips. Arms can be relaxed. And just feel the body. Feel the temperature. Notice your heartbeat. Notice the sensations, the vibrations. Then bring the hands to the inner thighs and just massage the inner thighs by gently applying pressure. Nice loving touch to the inner thighs, all directions. We have put in some work today, so show it some love, show them some love. And then relax the arms, relax every muscle. Consciously breathing through the belly. Softening your gaze. Softening your tongue. Inviting in all senses of peace because you have built the heat. You have challenged yourself. Good for you. And you're invited to stay in this posture as long as you like. Thanks for tuning in and for finding your flow. Peace and love. Namaste.